Hello and welcome to Enhance It here at Mappy Key Gaming. My name is Emmanuel and today we are looking at the Dragon Shield Double Shell Deck Boxes. Now I have a lot of card games and I've been looking for ways of being able to store them, being able to transport them because they come in these boxes that aren't necessarily travel friendly, they're not sto really storage friendly, they are literally just boxes. So I've been looking at some different solutions and I came across the Dragon Shield double shell here. Now it says that it is a 150 plus card deck box. So I was like, okay, this will hold a decent amount of cards. And it does. Right here on the back, it says double shell, secure double closure, card divider included, Okay, lid kept in place when open, and that fits in large dragon shield boxes. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. And that it holds 150 sleeved cards, or 120 double sleeved cards. If you're sleeving cards, this will hold a decent amount. 120, you're thinking to yourself, what a random number for double sleeved cards, unless you play Magic, the commander style of uh, play. You have a 100 card deck, and then plus any tokens and you know just a couple extra cards or whatever you're looking at 120 that makes perfect sense it also comes with a divider a normal magic deck is 60 cards you'd be able to fit two of them in here perfect i did get two of them here i have it in the red i think it's called blood red or dragon blood red or something like that and then this one here is the forest green double show four screen and it tells you that at the very bottom and uh, it tells you again what it fits it fits the 150 single sleeve and then the 120 double sleeve so here it shows dragon shield on the front on the top of it if you can kind of see right here it has two strips where with a black marker you can write what is in the box with the crease where it folds and then on the very bottom, it says dragon. Uh, this is double shell, not right. This, this is the front right here. It says dragon shield. On the bottom part here, it says double shell. And then it also has like the little recycle logo and some I don't know some other stuff there. I don't know if you can kind of pick that up there in the reflection. It's kind of hard. I bought these because in the picture, this symbol here with the dragon showed up more and it looked really cool i liked the color i was like awesome that's why i bought two and i actually believe it or not i ordered a couple of the other colors because <laughs> i was like oh man you know it, it was really cool and now that i have two of them well let me show you so what you do is it has these two on one on each side this black here that you're supposed to kind of like pinch together a little bit and then the top will fold up like that and then this part will fold down and then you close the top again and so you have your cards right here this is the the divider so you're going to put your cards and they're going to sit like that your cards will sit just like this and it does have gap here so that you can put your fingers in and pull out some cards so here are a bunch of cards and that's how they would fit you put your divider in and then you can put additional cards there in the back and then what happens is you fold this part open, you slide it in the back, and then you close it like this. Now, with it closing like that, your normal deck box, this is a side loader, but top loaders work the exact same, will open clamshell like this, and then the cards are just sitting in here. With this box, with it being, you have to slide this open, and then this slides out like that, it actually secures the cards better inside here. It less chance of it opening. With this right here, when there's a lot of cards, there is a chance of it of the cards just pushing on the lid and the lid coming and popping open. So for travel, maybe not the best. So I find that this would work a little bit better for travel. Except <laughs> there is one little design flaw. So if you see here, it, they put this, I don't know, lightning bolt symbol etched cut into it or maybe it's supposed to be like teeth or something but if you look at it let's see here if I can get it at a good angle for you to see it's kind of hard to see but the teeth themselves raise they raise up 
they raise up and they actually catch. Like if I if I if I run my finger like this, my finger is stopping because it's catching on this and it, ow, that actually hurts. <laughs> and it's on both sides. So if I threw this in my bag, I can easily see this catching. Personally, for me, I I just I don't I don't like that. It looks cool. It looks it looks pretty awesome when it's like that. When this closes together like this and then I have the cards right here and I can pull them out really easily that that is great the divider is awesome these teeth though just just bother me a lot now it does say that it it will fit in the larger dragon shield carriers so dragon shield makes larger deck boxes where you put two or three of these into it and then have it closed together and then you take them all together because of this this dimension right here Okay, deck boxes, your normal stand-up Ultra Pro deck box, the same exact thing. He'll sit. So, for this to fit in in those other carrier boxes, yeah, that's not that's not a big deal. The height is the same, and then this width right here is the same. There's no worries on that. For me, the big con is are these teeth. They they just kind of stick out like. They just kind of stick out like piranha teeth, and that bothers me. The other thing, the other con that I have with this is, you see how this like lifts up right here? Well, right here, there's supposed to be, right, the hour crease is here, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't naturally want to bend there, it wants to bend further down, especially when you pull this apart like this, that it yeah it doesn't it doesn't want to bend here it wants to bend down here and the glue as you can kind of see is starting to separate right here and so i don't know how much longer this glue is going to hold and keep this together with each and every time that i open this up that is going to get that's going to get a little bit worse so i don't know maybe some super glue maybe some gorilla glue or something and i i figure out a way how to glue it back down that is the other problem with this the colors like i said i love the colors this dark green looks awesome this dark red looks awesome and i ordered a couple other colors and when i get them i'm 100 percent sure that i'm going to love those colors but for now with these teeth here, I'm not going to be traveling with this. These, I'm going to put the, the different games that I have planned, I'm going to put them in here. And they'll go up on my shelf like this. Actually, maybe like this, where I'm going to write on the top. I don't know. They're not expensive. They're a little bit more expensive than that deck box over there. But maybe by a dollar. So we're, we're not looking at the price of a boulder here. We're not looking at a price of, of anything like that. This... I mean, this this lock, this mechanism here works fine. It holds the cards, but like I said, this this has some teeth in it, and this the glue on it. I don't know how well that's going to hold up over time. So, if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below, and uh, give me a like and subscribe. I am going to be doing some more videos, different gaming accessories for this Enhanced series, including some other deck boxes and some card sleeves and some other accessories. So until next time, watch out for that bite.